Hi everyone, it's Brittany and Katie with the Q Team in Rochester, New York. Today we're going to play Fact or Fiction. Um, there are three um, myths that are going around right now about the real estate market and we want to bust some of them. So first one is people saying I should wait for mortgage rates to drop even lower. Mm -hmm. So we've actually heard this for a little while now. It's been years I feel. I feel like it has too. <laughs> I'm not really sure if it has but uh, basically, there are people that are saying, you know, you know, mortgage rates, they might go down. You should wait. Mm -hmm. And we're here to tell you that that is very unlikely that the mortgage rates are going to go much lower than they already are. They are at historical lows. And really what that means is that you should take advantage of them before they go up. Right. Because in reality, that's what's expected is that they'll be going up through the Even, end of this year and the next they year. They have to go up eventually. Uh, we've mm -hmm. been riding this low for luckily a very long time mm -hmm. um so it's it's unrealistic to think that they're going to drop much lower mm -hmm. than where they are at right now and the people that are on the fence thinking they're going to play the game of you know maybe they'll go lower we just don't want you to risk that maybe by that time that you're ready that they'll increase yep so just a quick stat related to that uh freddie mac fannie mae and the mba and nar um, all really credible real estate sources are projecting them to go up in 2022. So right now with the, the today's rate of when this was done was 2.88% and the Q2 2022 projection was for those four, 3.63, 3.7, 3.5. So ultimately they're all expecting them to get into the threes and upper threes, yeah. um, which is still low. Great. Right. <laughs> but that can make a big impact. Realistic, but yeah. yes, it will impact your buying power um, and your payment. So fiction myth number two. Yes. Number, number two. <laughs> there aren't any houses for sale still. So that is changing. <laughs> so since January, the number of single family homes on the market has been increasing. This is nationwide. We're seeing this in Monroe We're County, in Rochester. Yep. So the homes available for sale are, is growing. Inventory is growing. While it may not feel like that for some of you that have been in the market for a long time, the, the numbers are real and inventory is climbing. And, and it's not skyrocketing. No. So we don't want to like blow this out of the water. They're not skyrocketing in their increasing power. Words are whatever, hard today. I know. <laughs> um, but we are seeing an increase in yes. the new listings on the market as a whole county. Mm -hmm. And in each of our individual searches that we have for our buyers, we're getting more notifications of new listings on the market. Sometimes we're getting a few a day, oh. um, which is, I mean, a year, year and a half ago, it was like two sprinkled over a week maybe, maybe. <laughs> it was hard right, right. so it, they are increasing um it feels like it's significant um but i mean they're not skyrocketing <laughs> right but we're we're on that trend right Things they're looking up <laughs> so number three what's the uh, myth? myth number three every home is still selling for way more than it's listed for so while that may not be for... the case for some right we're not necessarily seeing that across the board anymore um so home prices are still appreciating, but today roughly six in 10 homes sell for over list price. Which at one point it was like 10 11 out of 10. <laughs> so many. Um, but I mean, it's true. We're starting to see houses that are listed making it past their delayed negotiations and price reductions. Price reductions, which mm -hmm. the first, when we started seeing the price reductions, we were like, we were like what's going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> So while that, like that being said, the increasing inventory is contributing to that, but basically yeah. there are more options for these buyers that are in the market um, and things are kind of catching up. The prices, the pricing is catching up. Buyers are being a little bit more reasonable yeah. um, and there's more to choose from. So there's a little less competition, which leads to a little bit less crazy bidding wars. And pricing strategy is still super important. Super so important. Making sure that you're, you're hiring a listing agent that is experienced in the market mm -hmm. and your area and very familiar um, with what's going on. Yes. That's that is where we're seeing the biggest impact in terms of the offers coming in on our listings right so hopefully these few myths were busted today right. um we have plenty more so if you'd like to discuss the housing market a little bit more and get an idea of what's going on and if you're a buyer or seller how you can best position yourself to take advantage reach out